59 years of champions have come and gone. Who will claim number 60 as we're off in the 2026 Super Bowl? This will be fielded inside the five. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. And he's been sensational all season long, but he saved his best work for the playoffs, leading his guys to the AFC Championship a couple of weeks ago. And now he knows what lies ahead. He's going to need to play a near perfect four quarters of football to get his guys to the finish line. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. To throw on second down, Wallace. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Leonard Williams. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop it. But just two plays in, and Charles already their first sack defensively. Yeah, how about that? That didn't take long, did it? And now they look at third down, and that's another time to try and go and get the quarterback, too. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And incomplete on the deep ball. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. It'll be a net of 40 yards there following a 43-yard punt. Three-yard return. So now here are the Giants as they'll get their first opportunity here. And they will be led out by their 6-3 quarterback. And he comes in off of a tremendous game in the NFC Championship round two weeks ago. This has been a team all season long that's really taken their identity from their quarterback. And he's been very vocal in days leading up to this game that he believes that this is their time. And he's going to do all he can to will them to a Super Bowl win. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. They'll look to throw here on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, but it's going to lead to third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Now we've got a giant player here slow to get up after that last play. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Touchdown! With a first touchdown of this Super Bowl, and a long one at that. And the Giants are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Now the try here for the point after. It's up, it's good, and the Giants have a 7-0 lead. So that drive spanned five plays, and it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. They start the drive with Lynch. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. 
Two yards, the loss, second and 12. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. From the gun on third down, Wallace. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds, so a big call there that brings up fourth. Here's Jack Fox now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. 46 on his first kick, this one in that neighborhood as well. And it's fielded at the 34. A good return there, call it 13 Let's yards. Go. Let's go. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. And look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Give them a couple on the carry there, second and eight. You look at this Super Bowl, the second appearance for this head coach. The first one did not go as planned, as we all know, but... What do you think he's learned from that first go around? He learned how much it hurts to lose, and that's what you hear from coaches so often. They don't remember the wins as much as they remember the losses. You can talk about the media, the scrutiny, the hoopla, but once you've had to shake a head coach's hand and jog off the field and know you have to face the media, face your fans, face your home life, knowing that you've lost the Super Bowl, that hurts big time, and you're gonna do everything possible to try and prevent that from happening again. Here's Tyler Newsom now. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Wallace. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. the play fake Wallace to the sideline and wow what a catch doesn't get a lot out of it but he is able to keep the feet in bounds to throw on third down Wallace and that's going to be incomplete the coverage too good there the contact popped the ball free and it's fourth down the Dolphins will send out the punter now as he's on to kick it away. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. This will be fielded at the 17. And that'll be a return of 12, following a very nice punt. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some good plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? And this shot downfield on second down is brought in. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. 
And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? He finds his man complete. It's Porter. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. Ike has been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd run to ballet school. That touchdown, Giants! 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Giants continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right? RAC. Run after catch. And he loves that. And he's going to carry that in at contract time. Extra point right down the middle. And it's now 14 to nothing. A drive that time of six plays. And it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Miami set to take over. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They'll start on the ground with Lynch. Pushes past him. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Looking to throw. Wallace. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10 on the handoff. Ledge. And he's tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. And they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them. Providing a nice pick up there to keep this drive going. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. Back to throw. Wallace. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And it's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. And that is incomplete. The Dolphins on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 10. Operating from the gun. Wallace. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill. Complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the 8-yard line. Press coverage on the outside. And for defenders, that's the ultimate risk-reward. If you take the risk... Can you reward yourself by keeping him on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got the step on him. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. He gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. From the gun. Wallace, and that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. Sanders kick is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Fielded just outside the goal line. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. The 20. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Giants. A 
know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is up to 18 now. And no doubt one of the most, if not the most, exciting play we'll see in this game. The kick return all the way to the end zone for six points. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. This fielded right at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Dolphins ready to take over on offense. And this, let's face it, an important drive if they're going to get back into this ballgame. Think about going into the locker room down 21 to 10 as opposed to 21 to 3. 21 to 10, a little more optimism, a little more bounce around the locker room, a little more discussion about how they're going to finish this thing off. 21 to 3, I think discouragement. Yeah, I think a touchdown much bigger than a field goal on this drive just to get into the end zone and get that momentum. Eight yards to go on second down. Looking to throw, Wallace. He'll get this to his tight end, Gesicki. That catch good for five. It's third down. They'll run it. Here's Lynch. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. He's showing off that arm, showing it off very well. They've got the lead. Don't forget, though, about the protection he's had. The protection's been good. And I'll guarantee you, he hasn't forgotten about it at all because that's keeping him clean in the pocket, allowing him to step into throws and make those deep passes come true. I mean, it's just been beautiful for him to do. But guess what? In the huddle, on the sidelines, guaranteed he's thanking those big guys up front for keeping him safe. I have a feeling he made by dinner. <laughs> Indeed, entertaining to relive some of those deep balls. Second and four. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. On play action, they'll throw. Wide open receiver complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 31-yard line. One of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And this one he incomplete. Oh, he couldn't hang on to it in the end zone, and that's one that'll haunt you. And now it brings up third down. 
And he comes back with one complete. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. A great effort there. There to make the grab. And the Giants are starting to open things up here in the Super Bowl. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, was, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball, because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point splits the uprights, and the route is on here in this first half. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And Anil Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 28. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Giants are starting to pour it on to the game's biggest stage. They are running away with this Super Bowl. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there. Unable to do so, that makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. To try here for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A nice tidy little drive there. Getting the ball in excellent field position and only one play to score it. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The Dolphins taking over now late in this first half. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off here the 32, and he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. What a moment for him, a pick six in the Super Bowl. You think about some of the big pick sixes over the history of this huge game. I remember, because I was watching with a lot of Colts fans, Tracy Porter picking Peyton Manning to get the Saints' first title. Yeah, that would pretty much seal the deal for New Orleans as well. But I got to go back a ways, because, you know, unfortunately, considerably older. Herb Adderley, the Green Bay Packers, got it all started. The first pick six, Super Bowl II against the Oakland Raiders, and some of the better ones that were out there. You might remember Dwight Smith of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers had two in one game when they won their Super Bowl championship against Rich Gannon in Oakland. You mentioned Tracy Porter already. How about James Harrison and the Steelers? You remember that one? 100 yards right before the half ended. That was a big time play. But for me, the absolute classic, Willie Brown in slow motion mm. against the Vikings for the Raiders. The grand old man, Willie Brown, 75 yards. You recall him on. What a play here. Another pick six in the Super Bowl. 
The Dolphins taking over now late in this first half. And with the score where it is, even though I think they'd love to get back. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off at the 30. And he will have a first down here as they get into field goal range, down just shy of the 20. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Flushed out right. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Second and 11. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Looking to throw. Looking middle, and that's complete. And that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. And this one is right through. And they're sitting pretty now as the lead grows even further. So not the greatest of first halves for them, but a little ray of light here at the end. The late turnover becomes three points before the break. Well, they certainly needed something positive to go their way. Maybe three points didn't seem like a huge deal in the grand scheme of things, but at least it's something to think about as they head into the half. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. So it's halftime here on Sports Grandest Stage in the Super Bowl. So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. And we have seen him to this point with four touchdowns. We get a glance at his work. It's been good work. Oh, it's been excellent work and it's made so much better by our guys. Look at that montage of great plays <laughs> that they put together. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, you speak it pretty well. But these guys, the pictures they put up, off the team. Very good, and he's got his team in the lead right now. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And he takes us up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. He'll drop to throw. That's complete to Tony. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get four there down to about the 12-yard line. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. They'll set up a throw. His throw caught at about the five. And the Giants are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Let's go, 
They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. From the two now, second and goal. And they'll run again. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Giants take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead will swell by one more. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Now Ross to return. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is just what you said. You've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. From the gun on third down, Wallace. And going deep for Hill. And this one incomplete. And another throw that really could have been, maybe should have been intercepted. That would have been number four. Instead, it's fourth down. And here now the punter, Fox, as he sends this one away. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. He's going to loft one deep left side here. He's got it at the 15. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Well, sometimes you just got to marvel at how these guys can throw the football. He gave that everything he had, and it was right on the money. And as that ball was hanging in the air with the receiver streaking downfield to meet it, here in the stadium, you could just sense the crowd thinking, oh, no. And their worst fears were realized as that one turned into a long touchdown. And that ball traveling 68 yards in the air, according to Next Gen stats. Point after, right down the middle. And that will extend this big lead. Well, the offense wasn't out there for a long time, but they were out there for a good time. One play, and they're able to hit pay dirt. And now here's Ross. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, go, call it the go, 21. Go. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? So tough because we always talk about it being a team game, and you need all 11 working well together. But every now and then, partner, you need that one guy who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things. And I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers. They probably need to do it. Find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. 49 yards rushing for him as he's carried it 13 times. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Back to throw, Wallace. And this is gonna be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete third quarter of the biggest spectacle in sport, the Super Bowl. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Second and ten. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to him back. From the gun on third down, Wallace. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. 
picked off inside the 10. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Got a man, that's Colin Johnson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Only needing two yards on second down. Back to throw here. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Second down and eight. Now a handoff here to his running back. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Hands it off out of the gun. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. <laughs> Strong running, excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. And here's a handoff out of the gun. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. The Giants on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and five. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Ball at the eight here for second and a yard. Maybe a touch less. He'll look to throw. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display. And now they look to... And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline. And I think this one might just be over. Now Ross to return. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And it's becoming more and more apparent that this is just not going to be their night. That Lombardi trophy so close, but the expectations simply have not matched the results as they start on this drive first and 10. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. Looking to throw, Wallace. And going deep for Hill. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. 
The Dolphins on third down. Not so hot. Two for nine to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Hopkins. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Back to throw again. He's going to let it fly. And this is caught. It's a big play there for Miami. In today's NFL, you know, we talk about quarterbacks and their speed and accuracy, but there's still something about a guy slinging one downfield. And this is caught. Well, they get one back. Picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And they make the score a little bit more respectable here in our final quarter of play. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it winds up in six points for the Dolphins. From the six. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they are trying to play it cool down on the sidelines, but they know that they are very close now to wrapping this thing up and letting the celebration begin. A Super Bowl title within reach now as they try to polish this thing off. From the gun, he'll hand this off. Shedding through the defense. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 75 yards for him on the ground now on 18 carries. And the New York football giants are the toast of the National Football League. They are the Super Bowl champs. For the victors getting to hoist that Lombardi trophy, you know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better feeling in sports. I don't know how there can be. The, the, the journey to get to this game is incredible. And then to finally break through and win it when all eyes are on this game alone because there's nothing else going on, that's just got to be absolutely amazing. That The task, incredible. But the accomplishment, forever.